don't leave your screens today. This is a big day. I mean, it looks like the last 6K are just vicious and steep. Au pied d'homme? Eccolo! People need to know what was the rating of the room last night. I feel like the air condition was, was not super great. Um, we'll take a 4 out of 7. Oh man, favorite cycling saying. Attack. To try to drop the other ones and go on the at the front or on the breakaway. Banyo Maria. So it's when someone's left out in the sun. Uh, not really gaining any time, but just left there to stew a bit. I've been there many times myself. Oh, in the bunch, I don't mind. Piso, Gruppetto! I don't mind that. Either have a piss, or let's just sit up and cruise in. Cycling term? Yeah. Flicked. Flicked is yeah, a uh, yeah, term used to, go back to mean again. somebody She's pulled like a fast time, one on you. Pajara! And what does that mean? <laughs> a hunger flat. I mean, when you run out of energy because you didn't eat? Luft. It's not even a saying, I just like the word. It's about the, the peak in your uh, casket and uh, how much luft you have. Hmm. Casket is a cycling cap. On the rivet. And people, like, well, what does that mean, on the rivet, right? And on the rivet in cycling means that you're, you're just barely hanging onto the wheel in front of you. Back in the day when saddles on bikes were actually made out of leather, they were riveted in, so there was a big rivet at the very, very, very front point of the seat. And basically, whenever you're just barely hanging on the wheel in front of you, you tend to scoot your ass all the way forward on the seat, and you're just literally sitting right on the rivet. Uh, tour starts tomorrow. Yeah, the tour starts today. Tour starts today. Tour yeah. starts today. Two and a half weeks in. Yeah. All right, boys. What starts today? Breakaway is a few brave riders trying to go it alone in front of the peloton. It's a long day in the wind. Sometimes it pays off big, but some I would say 80% of the time they get caught, but it can pay off big if you make it. 143 the chasers, 1525 to the peloton. Today is not the crucial day uh, for the King of the Mountain competition, but it starts, the pressure does start. The walk time is 13.3 k's, about 6 watts per kilo, it takes 36 minutes, but the most important part of the park obviously is the last 4.4 kilometers of the park. When Mohor is there and you there, you are going to gain time, very good. Well. At the end of the climb, uh, I mean, they've obviously got the, like, uh, Puridor Angatil story from uh, the 60s, um, which is where I think the legend started, and they rode it again in 88, where Johnny Welts continued the legend. Now Paulus cannot go with the acceleration of Matty Moric. Paulus's legs have given out. The, you know, Matteo Jorgensen and, and Mike Woods, they both had teammates in there and that's pretty helpful in this situation. So the fact that we didn't have a second rider in there was a little, a little bit disappointing, but, um, but most important thing was that Nielsen was in there. Going rider per rider, doing a really good climb. He's now gonna catch Bergen though. Paulus is him. empty, isn't he? Unfortunately for the American King of the Mountains. Pretty happy about scoring 10 KOM points on a day that could have very well been a zero and actually a, a pretty big loss for us. So um, we came out pretty far in the positive on, on the polka dot, polka dot race. So I had to do the whole thing out of this side. I believe you. Le meilleur poids est toujours sur les épaules de l'américain Nilsson Paras de l'équipe IF Education Easy Post. So next week for us, the, the polka dot jersey race gets real. Um, there's a lot of points on tap next week, especially late next week. 
Um, so we're going to have to pick and choose which days we chase the points and which days we let the guys relax and, and try to recover. That'll require some pretty precise planning. It's actually, the decisions there aren't, aren't easy. What's up? So we've got Brian McGee, 5847 here on, uh, on YouTube asking us if he takes your KO on, on Old Forest Hill Road, is that like beating you up the Tourmalet? <laughs> oh, that's pretty darn close. I think uh, I was on a pretty good day when I took that KOM, so Oof. I hope you take it because uh, that might give me a reason to come back to Auburn.